Aloha and thank you so much for joining me on my video today. My name's Esther, welcome to my channel My Money Matters. You should know by now if you watch me regularly. <laughs> My channel is, guess what, to make me accountable with my budget and my hope is to inspire others to see the benefits of saving and of cash stuffing because there's so many testimonials of how it's worked for people and I love it. So we're going to do our check-in. So uh, check-in, a weekly check-in. So uh, last Saturday I went to a, um, like a, a church street market um i'll insert some photos and bits and bobs of what i bought so amongst those bits and bobs uh, things i could grab to hand was this does anyone know what it is it is a paper crimper so i did have a couple of these but i think i gave them away so i bought myself another one so you um stick the paper in here i've got to remember to turn it the right way and a bit like it would a hair crimper it crimps the the, uh, paper. Uh, why did I buy it? Because I saw this thing online that I thought would be really cool to make and then you like crimp the end of the packaging. So it was only I think what a, a pound. So the other thing I got was this gorgeous little bee brooch which I've attached to uh, my summer hat and uh, the little wooden pigs which I think I might include in the next giveaway because that I kind of couldn't resist them because they were really retro and reminded me I'm sure we had some years ago but I was like actually I don't need lots of pigs on my table it would just get too much so I might include them in the giveaway and um, this gorgeous um, tray here like it's I don't know it's I don't know if it's shell or if it's kind of just well, it gives the impression of shell, but I think it's just been covered with something pearlescent. But I've been looking out for a coin tray, and this was only £2. So um, I bought that as my pretty coin tray. Um, I can't remember what else I bought, but I'll insert it in the photos if I bought anything else. Oh yes, the reeds. The incense reeds, which, um, yeah, it's quite a strong smell. I've stuck it in my downstairs loo. Um, and they really work, but I'm not sure if I'm, I like the smell. So I'll, I'll just wait till they run out and I'm sure it'll be fine. Right, moving on. Sunday, no spend. £45 on gifts, which sounds a lot, but this was broken down into three <laughs> lots of donations for uh, Lever's gifts. Goodness me, it can cost, it adds up, doesn't it? But yeah, so that was for that, which I knew was coming. So um, yeah, just had to bite the bullet on that one and I just put some extra into my hyper jar anyway to make sure I can cover that. Um, I've put this in brackets because my son spent his money on cubes but it comes out of my account so you know that's in brackets. 240 on gifts so I've made some um, acrylic key rings again for some more gifts and I needed to get some jump rings so that was on that. So the jump rings are the little um, rings that I've go through the key rings. Uh, Wednesday and Thursday no spend and I'm hoping this lovely trend would continue because I feel like it's been a little bit spendy over the last few days. So before I show you what is left in my purse and do our challenges, just an update. Um, I know last week I said I was going to list these in my shop but I am going to do it today. Um, I've now photographed them and actually got them ready for listing. So the set of four IOU cards, which will be sold as a set of four. The school holiday binder, I've only got, I think, six listed and only five of the Christmas ones listed. That's And that's all I've got at the moment. Um, I haven't got a lot of time to be making more at the moment, but I do hope to relist at some point obviously depending how they go. So um, if you're interested, maybe message so that I can gauge how many more I need to make. But um, yeah, these are very limited for the first listing. I'm sorry about that, um, but it's, it's just the way it is at the moment. Okay, so I've not actually spent out of the purse this week. Um, everything's mainly been online. So I'm going to bring my little nice coin tray in. And empty out the old coins from there. So, what's happening with my coins? Um, I think I'm still put, put, going to put them in penny for now. And um, I'm trying to kind of bag up um, some 
coin bag so that in the right denominations to go and stick in the bank. And then once I've kind of cleared that, then I think I might start doing some challenges. Um, can I just point out the really manky 5p? Like, what what do you have to do to have, like, looks like it's been run over a car ten times to get to this state? I mean, it's, it's almost unrecognisable as a 5p. There you go. Right, old penny, because we've not had her out in what feels like years. I'm going to bring her on. Oh, come on, old girl. She's feeling rather light, but we're just going to put these coins into penny for now. And um, It was all very luxurious having it in a tray, I must admit. <laughs> it was rather posh. Okay, that's done. Just to add to my collection of desk stuff. Okay, so because we didn't spend out the purse, we're just going to take the money out of here. Oh, I managed to update my my tracker, my free tracker from Luna Lolly. Um, I always forget that these are the no spends. Like <laughs> in my mind, I keep thinking these are the spend days, but no, these are the no spend days. So actually, that's you know, it's quite encouraging. Okay, week three. So um, I tend to just put £55 into my purse each week. But like I said, because I've not spent out of it, this goes straight into any rollover. It goes into challenges. As per usual, I've not kind of um, got myself organised. I quite like living on the fly with it, I think I've decided. Like, I'm just going to do, you know, as and, as and when. No, what's the word I'm looking for? Just do it. Um... Ad hoc, or whatever the word is. Okay. Oh yes, the spare change was going to go in here. It's gone in penny. Oh well, it's okay. We've got some... Actually, we haven't got a lot of change. <laughs> let's see if we can change this up. We definitely have change in here. So let's let's take this out. And then I'm actually I'm actually gonna put six back. Three, four, five, six. And then <laughs> we can complete another of the roll it up dice. And then wow, this it's amazing how this adds up. Like you think it's gonna be slow, but then it actually well I've used a different colour. Okay, I'm I'm drawn to this one here. Wow. Look, we nearly got our first hundred. That's so exciting. Another 25 to go and then we get to cross off a hundred. So I've got to remember it's a slow burner. Slow burner. But it's making progress. Okay. We've got one more to scrub out here. Last week it got scratched by something. To get out my special coin and use the money to <gasps> yeah <laughs> buy a drink that'd be nice I'll do I will do that or shall I put it into I, che I feel like I'm cheating with this challenge <laughs> I'm gonna put cheat and put the money into the soiree challenge because I'm bound to buy a drink so um Let's put five in here. What if I only got four pounds here? Oh yes, because I put six pounds in the other one. That's okay. <laughs> so we'll put five pounds in here. Um, wondering if I should give it a bit more. Let's let's give it a tenner. So half of that and then half of this one. Because I'd rather get this fully funded and know that that's, that money's there. So that's for the Swindon Soiree Meetup. Excited to do that in August. So if I can get this open, Swindon Soiree now has 10, 20, 30, 40, 5. Cool. Nearly halfway there. Okay, wafty wafty, I want to keep on with this. Um... Let's put in five and take out some change. Or actually, let's put in ten, take out five. 
I still got Let's sort that out again. Put a 20 in. Okay, um no pink today, yeah, pink. So I'm just keeping a record on the back of how much I have to go. Oh, this makes me happy getting this last letter coloured in. It was bugging me. <laughs> I don't like it when you've got like one one left. So it's nice to see people enjoying this challenge. I know that people are still uh, getting on with this, which is nice to see. Are you ready? Got a wafty wafty it dry. I didn't do the Swindon Spa right, did I? I didn't dry that one off. I think I put enough money on there now. Okay, so let's see what we're left with. Ice cream and envelope. I'll put this here to remind me. Oh, got, got some random money there. So, um, I'll tell you what I might do. Let's have a look. So I've got ice cream to do. I've got the butterfly to do. Okay, so let's have a look at what we've got. Mm -hmm. let's, let's have a look at the ice cream. We're going to go for the pink ice cream. So that's five and then oh, I could do 15 oh decisions I'm gonna stick in five in here for now and I'm gonna swap out two fives for a ten I don't know, I'm going to leave that there and come back to it to have a little think about what I'm doing. I think I might put some more money into the ice cream, but I also want to get this, um, get going with the butterfly. So, these shapes are worth £2.50. I've got all this. This doesn't look right. It looks like I've got too much money. I want to put in, let's put another five in here. Um, so we're going yellow. Right, it's coming along nicely. This was the freebie from Jen at Budgets and Dreams. And oh, those are fivers in here. I must remember they're all in here. That's where I need to come for some change. So let's just go back to the ice cream challenge and we're going to do another ice cream. I'm wondering whether this guy should fit in here. The front, yes. And he's going to be yellow. Okay, so that's another 15, and I'm going to cheat and take out a pound from here, my change. Okay, we've got there in the end. So, and the tenner. Ice cream challenge now has 10, 20, 30, 45. Wow, that's good. And did I write on the back? Yes, this is going towards gift money because I just seem to be spending out uh, out of that um, a lot at the moment so I wanted to to boost that. Good. So the ice cream challenge is coming along nicely. That's from Scouse Girl Budgets. We're going to put the last fiver into the envelope. So it makes sense to me to just do a few less challenges 
and to just do what I can when I can. Um, otherwise, I think if I have too many on the go, it would be a little bit overwhelming and, and things get stuffed um, not as quickly. So I quite like, like it at the moment, the way that things are going. And because I'm stuffing um, the envelopes, sorry, knocking you about, um, it kind of takes a little bit out of the budget as well. But this is going to be worth it come the end of the year when we do the grand unstuffing, which is going to go towards next year's budget, inspired by Budget Save Grow. So I think that's all, folks. There's not really a lot to tell you this week. I think I've said everything I need to say, in part from thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Uh, do give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video or oh, your pig's legs falling over um, please subscribe and follow along if you haven't subscribed already and comment below let me know in the chat um, maybe what your favourite thing was that I bought from the, the street sale or anything about today's video I'm off to go and list those um, new products on Etsy and I'll see you soon on My Money Matters take care and God bless bye for now <coughs>